So my secret is that I am way more depressed than people think. It's really hard for me to do small tasks, which sounds ridiculous, but um, yeah, I have a hard time just doing normal daily things. <laughs> now I'm crying, great. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's been on my mind a lot recently just because it's gotten so much worse and my life is starting to pick up and life stops for no one. So just trying to keep up. I'll walk straight. <laughs>My secret is that when my brother, younger brother, would fall asleep without completing his homework, I would do it for him so that he wouldn't get in trouble with his teachers. My secret is when I was in the second grade and we would get homework packets and I wouldn't understand how to do some of the homework, I would cut those pieces of paper out of the packet just so that I would act like they never existed. You could literally see the cut marks on the paper and nobody ever found out and I'm here to this day. Um, when I was young, I always tried singing and dancing in front of people and people always did not like it but I don't really care as long as I enjoy it um, and yeah whenever I'm by myself I still sing I still dance I think I'm pretty good at it my secret is I've never been in love and I still have this hope that my life's gonna be like a romantic comedy movie and if I can't have it like that I'd rather not have anything at all, honestly. I turn on incognito mode on Spotify when I listen to Taylor Swift and Harry Styles because I'm embarrassed that some of my music taste is really mainstream. <laughs> Alright, so every time I travel places, I like to blend in with the crowd, so I wear their hats and their gear just so I don't feel, you know, kind of an outsider. For some reason I've always had trouble fitting in, so I like to, you know, blend in with my surroundings a little bit, just so I don't seem too out of place. When I blend in, I feel like I'm one of everyone else, and when I kind of stand out, I feel a little, you know, out in the open a little bit. Um, especially, like I said, I'm from 3,000 miles away, so this is like a, a new area. And I'm also a big sports fan, so blending in with the gear and stuff kind of makes me feel, 
you know, at home away from home. Okay, um, hi. So my secret is that I always feel like there's no one in this world who can accept me for who I am, just because of my identity, just with the way I look. I'm almost 30, but like, I always felt like it's never been easy just to find someone to be with that can accept me from who I am. And yeah, that's my secret. All right, so growing up, I've always had this fear of like shitting in public, like in public restrooms. And I think it started when I was young. I was like in first grade. And we'd all, as a class, we'd go to the restroom together. And I just couldn't hold it in. And so I, sh I shit myself and it went down my leg, you know, out my pants. And so like, you know, I kind of shook it off on the ground. And I just, you know, as a kid, I was like, I didn't want to draw attention to myself. So I was like, ew, someone just shit on the ground. I, I, I guess I didn't change my underwear. So like after school, I told my mom. And um, yeah, that was, yeah, that was it. Uh, sorry for the haircut. I, I'm getting one tomorrow, so you don't have to look at this mess for too long. Um, I've been always a very happy guy uh, to the outside world, and I've always wanted to be a good role model to my neighbors and to my peers and to the people that I work with. And uh, a lot of people just don't know that I feel lost and broken and it's scary um, because I don't know what I do. I don't know what I want to do with my life and I just, I feel lost and I wish I could find something to help me out, to help me get on the right path and uh, you know, I'm still searching, so. My deepest fear is to be at the end of the world and having nobody to hold my hand. Why is that? That's always been on my mind because I study environmental science. So I'm very worried about climate change. And it's also on my mind because my family has never been my support system. And friends have always been my family, my chosen family, but my friends have their own families who they would go to at the end of the world. So, you know, it was all, I always felt like I didn't have anybody. But then this got all way realer because I almost died from cancer. And I felt like I fought for my life, literally, when I was in the hospital. And, uh, but my friends were there for me and my friends saved my life. So it was a really real manifestation and test of my greatest fear, but I got through it and I'm still here. So, yeah. Um, no, I'm not yet completely recovered. I got really good news uh, earlier last week. Um, the cancer was completely removed fr from the tumor. It was completely taken out. It was in my tongue. That's why I sound like this. It's very weird. I'm only 21 years old. Um, but I'm going to be doing radiation therapy starting here in about four weeks or so. Yeah, and then I'll be better. F cancer, but it's a part of my journey now. I don't know if I'm allowed to curse, but yeah. <laughs> I actually have very specific advice. Um, <laughs> my friend knows where I'm going with this. Um, ladies, <laughs> get pap smears. Um, young people watch out for HPV. I have my vaccines and HPV still gave me cancer somehow, less than 3% chance. So to everybody, especially young people, take care of yourself and your soul and take care of your body because you never know when something like this could happen. I am a completely healthy person besides my cancer. It's bizarre. I read a really powerful book before I started this all, and it totally rings true that the best drug 
or alcohol you could ever take is to have a healthy body and to be able to do what you want to do on your terms with that body whenever you want and to love the people and hug the people that you love with that body. So yeah, there's no, <laughs> there's no better drug than that, but it's true. I mean, it is true and yeah, that's all. <laughs> I'm so wise now. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? <laughs> oh, that's dramatic. Um, I'll probably I'll probably walk because, uh, yeah. Can I can I dance straight? <laughs> okay. Hi everyone, thank you for watching. I'll be posting bonus footage from this episode on my Patreon. That means more answers and extended cuts of each answer. And if you want to see it, you can sign up. I'll have it linked in my description. And if I ever do follow-ups on the people you see in this episode, that'll be on my Patreon as well. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all and I'll see you next time.